Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. How are you today on this lovely Friday, October 2nd, 2018? Let's talk about what's going on. Uh, some of it kind of disturbing and some of it just nonsensical, I suppose. Okay, um, so as I am doing this video blog, stocks are higher pretty much across the board. The NASDAQ is under a little bit of pressure because of Apple. Apple's down about 6% as I am doing this video blog. Okay, big freaking whoopee do. Uh, and and it, this is nothing. Whatever. I, I did a little dance yesterday for you. You remember that? Well, uh, I, I, I'm still doing that dance in my head. Okay, so I know what you're looking at, or you should be, and that is the 10-year yield. The 10-year yield is creeping higher. It looked to me yesterday like we were getting some uh, stabilization there, but it is creeping higher today. However, after yesterday's pounding, and I mean that, uh, of the dollar, uh, we're getting a little bit of a follow-through today. Dollar is under pressure. Precious metals are higher again, cryptocurrencies are higher again, and as you are well aware, there is a compensatory mechanism that exists here between the 10-year yield and the dollar. I'm not going to talk about it anymore, at least in this video. So stocks are still uh, looking to move higher in my opinion, and uh, I am more than certain again beyond, in fact, not even just more than certain, 100% certain that more easy money is going to flow into this market. And that brings me to my next little lovely segment here. Why? Well, we just got some disturbing news here with regard to the U.S. trade deficit with China. Uh, yet again, we hit another record high. So uh, we're losing the trade war, quite obviously. And it's it's very in our face, but you know they're going to twist this, and uh, we're going to hear all kinds of nonsense. But the facts are the facts. This is what they are. Trade deficit now hitting another record high against China. Uh, does it look very good, uh, at least for the current administration's policy here? So what are we going to do? Try more of the same? Hit them with more tariffs that just won't work? I mean, look, I've been outlining this for you for a, since we started with this whole thing, and there are you know, there's the brainwashed people over here uh, that that can't even you know recognize anything, and there's the rest of us that understand where we are at here, and uh, it's not looking good. And from any perspective that you want to look at, it's uh, it, it it baffles the mind, or at least baffles my mind, to see where we are right now in this economic cycle, where we're supposed to be uh, in, in, in an economy that is doing so well. Meanwhile, we just found out yesterday that the Treasury Department is now on the cusp of issuing more debt than it even did during the financial meltdown, because debts and deficits continue to explode. Who's been telling you that this would happen since, like, time immemorial now? Uh, yeah, sure. Stock markets recovered real nicely, but everything else, not so much. And whatever numbers that they're fist-feeding you, they're not real either. Why? How do we know they're not real? It's propaganda because we are in a trade war. All warfare is based on deception. All right? So you've got to know where to look, and everything will become clear. You got it? So anyway... Let's keep around a few things here. We want to see the dollar remain weak, okay? We don't want to see it continue this upward trajectory that's been on for a while here. Yesterday's sell-off, nicely positive for the stock market. Remember, some of you seem to not uh, understand what, I, what I'm saying here, but a weaker dollar is stock market positive for a lot of reasons, and I covered some of this yesterday. Um, we want to see the dollar remain weak. We want to see the 10-year yield not move much higher than it is here. We're going to, if that happens, if that 10-year yield 
continues to creep higher, it's going to mute gains for the stock market. It might even put pressure on it. Um, but we'll see how this plays out moving forward as well. You know where to look. If you follow this blog, you are beyond any doubt uh, uh, an expert in this stuff. There's, there's just no doubt about it. Um, okay, with that said, we will reconvene at the end of the day, and it's going to be just more lovely than it is right now. Can you believe that? I'll see you later.